on today's episode. Welcome. Here are show repairs I've done and share the techniques and tools that I use. If you find this video valuable or even entertaining, uh, please subscribe as it really helps. It's great to get your feedback, so leave a comment below and don't forget to hit that like button. Also check out the description below because there'll be additional information and some useful links. So recently I've been doing some research on, on YouTube and don't worry, I haven't completely lost the plot. I was actually looking at, at something else, but I'm going to use this as an example. I was on a technical video and I wanted to take some, some notes, started writing stuff down and suddenly thought, uh, actually there must be an easier way of doing this. Now one of the features of YouTube, which is possibly not used very much, is actually the captions. So if we turn the captions on, you can see that as the guy is explaining the, the recipe, um, then the subtitles come up. What um, you can also do though, is if you go into the more, you can actually look at the transcript. So the transcript is here down below and that highlights as the guy is talking. So all the information you need is actually in here. Now, you could actually just start cutting and pasting this stuff, but um, that's a bit of a laborious process. There is uh, a much easier way. If you take the URL of the video and copy it, you can actually go to a site and download the subtitles. So here, simply we click in the box and put our URL for the video and click on download and it will ask you what language. Uh, I believe this is only available in English so if we download the English version. So we click the download for English and we can save it. Then if we look in the folder, we can see that it's downloaded uh, the file name uh, as a .srt. Now that's um, the, a format for, for subtitles. If we open it in a standard uh, Word, uh, WordPad, for example, then you can see there's all sorts of extraneous information that we don't need. So that's not very useful for us. So the next thing is I found a program that edits um, subtitles and you can download it and I'll, I'll give a link into the description. When we, when we open the subtitle program, all we need to do is to go and obviously open, find our target. And here we can see where it's downloaded the subtitle file to. If we open that, then obviously we get lots of information in, in here. But one of the features of this program, if we go to File and Export, we can actually export the text uh, in a plain format and it gives us a preview here. So all that we're actually getting is, is the words, none of the timestamping or any of that stuff. And for my own needs, I find it useful to click over here and merge all the lines together so it's all word processor and, and edit for our own needs. So we'll just save that and it saves it obviously as a .text file. Having got to this point, if we then open a word processor of choice and find the, the text file, Here's the text file that we converted. And we just leave that as the default. Then we can see that we have all the text that we need and we can go through and edit that to our list of ingredients and the description. And it's all there for you. So uh, a useful trick I feel and um, something you might find useful as well.